what's up guys welcome back to another video so in today's video I'll be modifying a bait pump and this is a standard bait pump the only difference is there is a squash ball inside here the standard pump comes with a lot of rubber gaskets or tubes stacked together and the problem with that is and the squash ball is they tend to to clog up they get a lot of sand in there so you'll start off pumping nice and easy and then after two or three pumps and starts getting stiff with this method there's no servicing involved once the modification is done and also it allows you to pump inside the water so stay tuned for a step-by-step -step demonstration on how I modify this pump okay so first off what we're gonna need is sort of glass or perspex and you're gonna need marine silicone this is a glue devil I believe you get plastic also I think that's the more expensive one so what I done was I've already made a couple of these gaskets silicone gaskets and this is the magic this gives you 100% suction and very little restriction so all you have to do is take uh, the silicone tube and you can cut about a 20 mil section off of it and then all you do is you just place it down on the glass and you can just shoot inside there Okay, so you shoot the silicone inside there and all you have to do is just press it flat. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out, and then you can just put it there and just clean up around the edges. All right. So that is one gasket, and that is the end result of it. All right. So once that is done, you can put him outside in the sun for about a week or two. Make sure it cures all the way through. And then once that is done, the caskets are ready, and then we move on to the next step. Okay, so once that is done, we're gonna need to punch a hole in the center for the shaft to go through. So, more in the center. You can take anything around that's hollow. Alright, here we go. So we got the hole through the center and our shaft can now fit inside over there. Something like that. Okay, so the next step is to set the pump down. So we can start off by moving the handle. Okay, once the handle is off, we can remove the snap over here. Okay, that 
take the stop balls off. And then you can go ahead and slide out the shock. Okay, so I had to cut down the rubber, but now because of the because this plate over here is is fixed over here, it's kind of welded on. So okay, so the rubber is a bit thinner now. You can go ahead and put the rubber on there. So now we got more space. You can go ahead and fit your top washer. So you guys can play around with the thickness of the rubber depending I would suggest open up your pump first and see how much space you, you have over there and then you can always make your, your rubber gaskets accordingly Okay, so the next step now is to just put a stainless steel wire in there and bend him over to prevent your wing nut from, from falling off. Fill a wire, 316 stainless steel. So you shouldn't rust. Let's bend the first piece. Cap there, cap there, cut the piece of over there. So the one side goes in. So and then you can bring down this one too. So you can bend all the way over because, like I said, you hardly service these pumps. Once the gasket is in, you're good to go. Very little service required after that. Maybe a rinse now and then with fresh water. Always helps. So all you need is just for the, the wing nut to be able to turn. Okay, so that is our shaft all done, ready to be fitted. But before we do that, we need to take this cap off over here. And let's see if it will turn off. This nut. So this is brass. They normally don't come easy, and if you do struggle with them, just take a grinder and you can cut them off also. Okay, looks like it's turning. Oh, is it breaking? Okay, he's turning. Okay, so all we do is we remove that cap and then we can go ahead and put this not back in again. Tighten him all the way up. Let's go. Okay, so that's done. 
the next step now is to give this handle a couple of tacks so it doesn't move and it's not loose so let me get the weld out and we can do a couple of tacks on them Okay, so that's him welded up over there. A couple of tacks just to keep him in place so he's not moving anyway. Okay, so now that the welds are done, we can go in and assemble the whole pump. So our handle is in place over there. Our shaft is sorted out with a new gasket. We got our new uh, wire in there to prevent the wing nut from falling out. And you can adjust accordingly how deep you are in the water if you need to give a bit of slack on the on the rubber gasket or you can tighten up so we can go ahead and start assembling okay so let's show off here and put a stopper in That's it. And that's one prone pump or bait pump modified. So we remove the, the top cap over here. So when you're in the water and you're pumping down on the same hole and your pump starts going underneath the water. So when you push in and you pull out the gun, that water that's inside over here has easy access to get out and it won't cause any restrictions uh, while you're pumping. Makes the pump much lighter. Alright guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and I will catch you guys on the next one. Cool.